I'm the great, great granddaughter of Jack Yates. He was instrumental in purchasing Emancipation Park, where the free slaves celebrated Juneteenth. One of the most famous families in Reconstruction era Houston were the Yates family. He was free. However, his wife and children weren't. So he came to Texas and entered back into slavery so that he could be with his family. They were brought here to continue to be slaves. Once freedom came again, he knew what that tasted like. He knew what that felt like. So he took his family and moved to Houston to start a brand new life. Jack Yates actually began helping and teaching and helping them to learn because at that time, you know, slaves weren't supposed to read or write. He was a wage laborer as his day job and at night preach near the Buffalo Bayou in Houston. And then gradually they were able to build their own church. I'm a member of Antioch Missionary Baptist Church and have been all of my life. That was the first church that he started, but there were many other churches that he started, including Bethel in Houston. It is that spirit, it is that zeal, it is that determination that he and others poured into the foundations when they built this church. So when you talk about World War I, our soldiers went off to fight. When they came home, Antioch was able to train and cross-train uh, ex-veterans in masonry work, in carpentry work and really help these ex-soldiers to find jobs and to provide homes for their families, uh, education for their children. It was these very women from this very church who taught other women how to vote. So, so many great people have been here and have been inspiring and galvanizing the community. When I was growing up in Houston, I knew the name Yates because it was the name of a high school, Jack Yates High School in Third Ward. The first black school in Houston for a while had just been called Houston Colored High School. As the black community spreads and grows in other parts of the city, you need more schools. So when a second high school is established in Houston in Third Ward, it's named after Jack Yates. 